International Congress of the uh, MDS that took place in Madrid, in Spain, uh, we presented a poster on with the title of Understanding Patient Perceptions of the Key Components of Medication Adding Here in Parkinson's Disease, a multi-center international study. So in this study, we uh, the aim was to understand how patients with Parkinson's disease and their care partners describe medication adding here. So we conducted an exploratory, qualitative, international, and multi-center study using focal group approach to in two international outpatient clinics specialized in movement disorders in Brazil and in the United States. Uh, Twelve care partners of people with Parkinson's disease and se seven from Brazil and five from the United States and seven patients with Parkinson's disease from Brazil participated in three independent focus groups. So participant speeches were recorded, manually transcribed, translated from Portuguese to English, English, reviewed and analyzed to develop a detailed list of phenomena which were categorized into domains using Bardon's content analysis. Uh, the results coming from this study is that medication adherence in Parkinson's disease is subdivided into 14 domains Originating, originating from 232 phenomena, uh, 117 that represents uh, almost 50% of patients um, and almost 50% 50, 50 of the care partners. Uh, they described it that those domains were the positive therapeutic behaviors, complex therapeutic re regimen, barriers to the, to the treatment assessment. For example, the cost of the medication is a barrier. Uh, the perception of the effect of the drug, the negative therapeutic behaviors, for example, Patients saying that now I've discovered an interesting thing. When I have adrenal adrenaline in my body, I don't need Parkinson's medication. So the negative therapeutic behaviors when they use the medication, when they think that they need to, uh, the medication side effects, patients with uh, too much dyskinesia, for example, they avoid the use of this me the medication, the levodopa, uh, so that they can avoid the dyskinesia. The, fam the lack of family support, forgetfulness, uh, the level of functional independence, knowledge about the therapy. So, for example, uh, the competition between protein and medication, protein always wins. So pa patients, uh, uh, sometimes they avoid to take the medication so that they can consume prot prot proteins in their daily routine uh, and so on. Uh, all the indi individuals experienced more than one of these domains of medication adherence, adherence, although the patients did not mention the phenomena related to the level of functional independence and personal characteristics domain. Uh, the most common phenomena were positive therapeutic behaviors, complex therapeutic regimen, and barriers to treatment assets. Uh, but also the perception of the effect of the drug. Those are domains that really impact patients on the use of medication in their daily routine. So the conclusion with this study is that medication adherence in Parkinson's disease is multidimensional and uh, awareness of this multiple phenomena perceived and described by patients and their care partners may be useful to the development of future clinical and research instruments that capture the experience of patient adherence more comprehensively in this population. And those results were used to the development of the new rating scale, uh, the Parkinson's disease medication adherence, the PDMIS.